Happy Saturday, everyone. Tonight, I am going to show you how to extract text. For example, first name, last name, dates. Hello, everyone. My name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. This video is actually to reply the Kobe Knight uh, on Reddit. He has a email subject with a username and uh, birth date. And he wants to grab the username John Doe for this instance. And also grab the dates and year. So I have prepared a Power Automate um, flow, Power Automate Desktop flow to extract the name and the birth date. So the first step is to set a variable. So the first step you can change to your need. So because I don't have a text file or an email subject with this, uh, this subject, this text. So I have set a variable uh, as a sentence. And then uh, the value is user John Doe's birthday is on April 30, 2022. So the first step is I'm going to use parse text. All right, text to parse is sentence. Text to find is apostrophe S. Um, start parsing at position zero. First occurrence only enabled. Variables produce position. So this is actually to count how many uh, characters up to the apostrophe S. So the position, you can see from here, the position is 13. So you will count from user, user up to the apostrophe. There are 13 characters. All right, this is what this is what the past text is used for to count the text, count the characters. Then you get subtext, right? So original syntax is sentence. Start index character position is uh, five. So if I go to the name, um, can we go to the sentence here? So if you count up to um, J, it's five characters because uh, U is considered um, index number zero. So if you refer back to the Microsoft X guide here, it says the position of the first character retrieve uh, is a zero base index. So it's counting from zero for the first character. So user, uh, so user to J is, uh, so it's zero, one, two, three, four, five. So J is the fifth character. So I'm going to start uh, getting um, J first. So the character position is five. So then the length is, I choose number of characters. So for number of characters, I use a percentage symbol position, which is uh, for this instance is 13, where we counted up to apostrophe S, right over here, right? So user John Doe is 13 characters. Then I'm going to minus five because I don't want the user and the space in front of John Doe, right? 
So when I run this um, workflow, right, the variables produced is name, and then if I look at the name, right, I'm actually extracting John Doe now, right. So now I want to get the first name and last name from John Doe. So what I do is I use split text. So text to split is a name, which is which is John Doe. Delimiter type is standard. Then I choose standard delimiter as space. Times is one because I only have one space. Um, variables produced is a text list. All right. So when I run uh, the workflow, I can see my text list. Right, is John on the uh, first call, uh, row, which is index zero, and then the last name uh, is uh, index one, right, which is the second row. Then I'm going to use set variable. Variable is first name, so I use a uh, percentage symbol, hex list. And then uh, square bracket of uh, zero, then a uh, percentage symbol. This will extract the text list, which I show you earlier, um, the first row from the text list. So it's John. All right, so text list open bracket zero is John. Then I'm going to set variable for the last name. So it's text list, then uh, row one, which is the second row, right, for uh, do. Right, then I'm going to extract the dates, right, which is at the end of the sentence. So I use get subtext, get subtext of sentence. Start index is character position. So position is the apostrophe. Then plus 18. Why I plus 18 is I counted right from up the apostrophe to up to A, right? The first character of the month. So it's 18, right? So 13 plus 18, right? We will start. Uh, the, the, the character will start at um, the first character of the month. So this is fixed, right? Then the length is end of text. So it will get the whole remaining sentence end of text. So another alternative expert method that you can use is uh, recognize entities in text for the date, right? Text to recognize from is the sentence. So entity type, you select date time because you want to extract the date and time. There's a lot of other things that you can uh, extract. So it's uh, like very, very smart uh, recognize system that uh, Power Automate Desktop has. It can recognize dimension, temperature, currency, number range, number, ordinal, percentage, phone number, email, IP address, uh, mention, hashtag, URL, GUID, and quoted text. So language is English, and variables produced is birth date table. So when you run this, your birth date table will actually show you um, the value and the original text. So because this is the date, so original text is this date, right? Exactly like the sentence. Then it will convert it to a uh, date time value. So we can see 30th April 2022 with the standard default time of 12 a.m. So you can set a variable here, right? So birth 
date recognized entity. So, okay, this is, uh, I will explain how to get the value. So, because you have a table, right, then you want to extract um, the second column and the first row to get April 30, 2022. So what you do is, you do a percentage symbol, then the birth date table, right? Then zero will be your row number, which is zero, the first uh, row. And then you want to extract the original text. So it's the column, right? If you go to here, you can see the column name is original text. So you can actually refer to this uh, word, uh, sorry, Microsoft document. You can see this is the table name and then the row number and uh, column name, right? You can actually use uh, the column number as well. So if I want the second column, so it's uh, one, right? It's always start with zero, the index like here. So one zero means uh, row, second row, and first column. So if I go back to the Power, Power Automate desktop, so this is to um, extract the original text, right? You can also convert the date time to text, right? So if you want the text the date to appear like um, a short date. So date, months, and year. You can actually just uh, convert the birth date table, zero, and a value. So you want to convert the value, which is the first column. Format to use standard, and then standard format, short date, or you can choose uh, other type of date format long date short time long time full date time short time full date time long time general date time short time general date time long time and sortable date time it will give you a sample of all these dates so let's say if i click on general date time right this will be the format so if short date is just the normal date um, I hope this video has helped you. Um, if you like the video, please give a video a like. And then please remember to support me by subscribing to the channel. Um, thank you so much guys for listening. Have a good night or a good day. Bye bye. Thank you.